Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Yu-Gi-Oh! 2022 Mega Tin of the Pharaoh's Gods case opening. This is the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! tin to be released, the one for uh, 2022, 12 tins in total for the entire case, so definitely excited to be opening all of them on uh, film for you all today. This tin gave us a ton of good reprints, including ones between the sets of, I believe it was Blazing Vortex, and then all the way up to Burst of Destiny. With it, cards like Pot of Prosperity, Forbidden Droplet, Ash Blossom, a ton of good staples are in this tin. If you're looking to pick this up just to get some of the more harder to get ones, like I said, Prod of Prosperity was definitely a difficult one to get and now hopefully a little more readily available. And also, this is the final piece to the hieroglyph that we have with the Egyptian gods being the final top piece. I love the art on this one, especially showing all three of the Egyptian gods in there. I don't want to say simplistic, but more like, you know, ancient art style as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the actual opening. You get three packs per tin. So all in total, we have 36 packs to open. Like I said, I got 12. So let's just go ahead and see what some of these awesome cards we can pull are. So start off with, yeah, they gave us some Utopia cards in here along with the Arm Dragons. We'll go through a little slowly for some of the commons, but uh, the big thing are obviously going to be the Hollows. Our first rare is Bee Trooper Scout Buggy. Our first super, I believe there's two supers, two ultras, and a secret per pack. Uh, we have High Ritual Art, Virtual World Gate, uh, Zong Wu. I believe this wasn't a foil yet. We have Sprite's Blessing, Ultra Rare. And we have Danger Disturbance Disorder with our first secret rare being Despian uh, Cortis. This was a pretty pricey card, I believe, you know, uh, for a good while there. Some of the Sioux Ship reprints as well in this set. Wind Witches. Also, with some dino wrestlers, gonna try and keep all the secrets, rares, and supers separated as best as I can as well. But we have Ice Jades. I wonder what some of the rarities for the other Ice Jades will be. If I don't think any of them are secret rare. I think they save the good majority of slots for the secret rares for more, you know, usable, stable cards as well. We have Laundry Trap for our first rare. Trap Trick Vesiculo for our first super in this one. Don Mari at Ignister. This was another cool super just to help to, you know, fully foil out the at Ignister deck. We have the Revive Sky God. This was one I was hoping to pull for sure. I'm a big fan of Slifer, so glad I could pull the staple needed for him. We have Fluenderies and Toucan. Uh, I don't think Toucan was available as, uh, you know, a foil yet, so nice. And we have Armed Dragon Thunder Level 7. For those of you that are Armed Dragon fans, this was a nice touch reprint as well. I believe Level seven was the highest rarity um arm dragon card in this pack i believe arm dragon level 10 might just be an ultra and then arm dragon level 10 white is just a rare uh, we have some magic key reprints as well some other at ignister cards we have stardust illumination i believe this was an ultra i may be wrong there but we have book of lunar eclipse another super ghost sister and spooky dogwood dark honest for the first ultra from this pack Synchro Overtake, and we have Ghost Ogre and Snow Route. So here's one of our first well-known uh, staples as well from the first tin. Some fabled other magic key cards as well. My entire room is going to be covered in wrappers and tins by the end of all this. Got to put the ultras where they go as well. I just made one pile of the rares and whatnot. So it seems like the rares and the secrets will be the more short print cards because I think you might have a better chance uh, pulling, you know, some of the ultra play sets more than some of the, uh, what was it, rares, because you only get one rare per pack. But still, from a total case, you should get 36 secrets in total. So let's see what tin number two will give us. Like I said, we'll quickly go through the commons chronomaly reprints. We have Clav Keys, the Magic Key Sky Blaster, upgraded to a rare from a common. We have ZW, Pegasus, Twin Saber, I believe it was a common before. Gunkin Sioux Ship as a super, it looks pretty nice. And then we have Breath of Acclamation, uh, Heavenly Zephyr, Miradora, and our secret is Small World. Nice. Um, Small World, I believe, was a secret originally, but still a very useful card. I know a lot of decks used it for its search power, especially. And then... More Sioux Ships, a common version of Live Twin Sunny Snitch as well. Looks like Bee Troopers will be readily, easily to make. I don't know if they have any high rarity cards. The first rare we pulled, uh, Scout Buggy, was actually, I think, one of the more pricier cards for the deck, and it's now rare in this pack. Metal Foes. Uh, we have Lava Vault, X-Lord for our rare. 
Then we have ZS Arm Sage, first foil for this. Uh, Sun Avalon, Daphne. And we have Dark Eye Nightmare. I actually don't recognize this card. Is this a new card or am I just drawing a blank? Was it like a lower rarity card maybe in this set? We have Tri Brigade, Bear Brum, the Rampant Rampager. And we have Dramaturge of Despia. So definitely starting strong with the <laughs> Despia cards in this set. But I think this is a pretty high rarity for Dramaturge as well. I think it was ultra rare beforehand. More Win Witch cards as well. And last pack for tin number two. Let's see, we get Master's Diploma. Level five seems to be in the second spot, at least. I've only opened, I believe, six packs so far, but it was in the second spot for the other one as well. We have Stained Glass of Light and Dark. Another Book of Lunar Eclipse. Radiant Vorescence for that super. We have Dark Ruler No More, first one of this ultra rare. Uh, the Breaking Ruin God, here's Obelisk's card going right in order. We got Slifer first, then Obelisk. Now let's see if I can get Raw. And we have Underworld Goddess of Closed World. Very good secret to pull. This card is just a good answer to getting rid of some of your opponent's boards, being able to use their own monsters for the Link Summon as well. And I'm moving right along. So aside from the fact that I think I'm going to take out my camera by trying to grasp onto the Solvane, I just don't have a to open it nearby, so I have to resort to old style methods of opening these. But it's not like a UVO box where I'm worried I'll damage the packs. These are, you know, metal tins here. We have Para Metal Foes, Azortless, Denier, Destiny Hero Denier, and Arm Thunder Dragon, or Dragon Thunder, level three, Hyperton, Fabled Treason, ZW, Dragonic Halberd. We have Fluindaries and Stry for our first super. Paleozoic Cambro Raster. That's a pretty nice super, actually. I think it was a common when it first came out. And we have Abyss Keeper for you fish fans out here. Here's an ultra rare copy of this. Stardust Trail. That's definitely an interesting ultra as well. And our secret is Albion the Branded Dragon. So this card, I think this is third reprint. I think it was in the structure deck. Uh, and then before that, it's original release. So interesting take there. The Sioux Ship, Ice Jade Cradle as well. I think Ice Jades were first released in the Burst of Destiny set, which is like the last pack that's getting support in this tin. So there might not be too many Ice Jades, just like the introduction cards. We have Ultimate Flagship, Ursatron. Um, ZS Arm Sage again. We have Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. That's a really good super. This was a pretty pricey and hard to get card for a while. I think it even reached $45 at one point. Uh, there's Nibiru, our first Nibiru, and Baby Mud Dragon. Oh, so adorable. When, you, when a card is foil, you definitely do notice the art a little more with the contrast in the background. You can just see how cute these Baby Mud Dragons are. And our secret is Tri Brigade Kit. That is actually a really nice secret for the Tri Brigades. If you're looking to max rarity out your Tri Brigade, you can definitely go a little farther now with your kits being Seeker Rare. And next pack, Maftiel for Magic Keys. I believe it was already a common in the first pack it came out. Dawn of Majesty, uh, Wolf Rate. We have Stained Glass of Light and Dark for our rare. Down Mari at Ignister. White, Drag White Knight of Dogmatica. We have Lena the Light Charmer in Ultra Rare. Uh, DDD, Super Sight, King, Zero, Maxwell, and our secret rare, we have another Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So we're already getting some doubles of the secrets and our second one of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So for the rest of the commons there. And moving on now, we've got three tins down and nine to go. So on to tin number four. I can open it up. And I'm curious now this one. I have a good feeling about this one. It doesn't want me to open it. That either means it's trying to tell me it's a bad tin or it's a good tin. So let's hope for the latter. I've got all the ultras sprawled out over here as well. So let me move those to the side and we can get started with this tin. Hopefully, even the, that pack felt a little difficult. Let's see, do we have the luck with this tin? I've been pretty happy with the pool so far. Expendable die as a common. And our first rare is Bahalutia, the Grand Rains. I believe this was Seeker Rare, actually. Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, super. Another super rare, Sioux Ship Shari. Uh, Dark Infant at Ignister, uh, ultra rare. And we have Rebuilder. This is a Cybers card with our secret rare being ZS Ascended Sage for the Utopia support, going from its original ultra rare to a secret rare printing. 
and the rest of the commons. I keep thinking this is Boral Sword, but it's one of the B Trooper <laughs> common Boral Sword in the 2022 Mega Sins. We have Tri Brigade Rendezvous, Mighty Neptune, Zexel and Truss. Just naming random commons here. Fluindaries and Robina remade into a rare, and you can see some of the foil damage up at the top in the B of Robina. Uh, Virtual World Gate again. Another Sun Avalon Daphne. We have Branded Bond. Zexel Construction Ultra Rare. And our secret is Evil Twin Trouble Sunny. This one uh, for, was originally an Ultra as well, and remade now into a secret, as I try to keep all these secret piles together again. Rest of the commons there. Do we have one pack left? Where'd I put the other secrets? Am I getting mixed up now? I believe I might be. Two rares, two ultras. I think I put the rare up. I'll find them all afterwards. What do we get from this one? Arm Dragon, Blitz, Basil Rose Shoot, B Trooper Landing. We have Chronomaly Vamana, so uh, was originally an ultra, I believe. Screams of the Branded, another Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon, DD Assault. Okay, these Ultra Rares are starting to turn out pretty weird with the choices they made. We have another Alina the Light Charmer, and we have, oh nice, our first Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. This was definitely uh, made into a cheaper card, I've noticed as well, but definitely needed a reprint for those of you wanting to build it and not wanting to pay that price. I know it went down ever since Vert Anaconda got banned, but still, it was a pretty pricey card for people who just wanted to play even just casually, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! wise. But did I miss, did I put some of the secrets away in the common pile? I don't think I did. I think I just misplaced them. They're here somewhere. I have all the piles right next to one another. So they are somewhere. I'm just missing and not keeping track of any of them, but it'll all organize into a cat later to make sure I got 36 secret rares. Oh wait, no. I was thinking I was expecting two secret rares from that. No, you get one secret rare, so I didn't miscount anything. They were all there to begin with. I'm thinking that they have to have the same numbers as the altars and the secrets, when that is not the case for the secret rares. All right, Springs of the Far East. Link Apple as a common. And we have Monster Assortment. Paleozoic Cambro Raster. Blue Enderies and Stry. I meet you them, and they're really going for the full foil for the At Ignister deck as well. Uh, Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx, and our secret is another Arm Dragon Thunder level set. I'm going for my play set of secrets. The secrets definitely look a lot nicer than the Ultras, I would say for sure. That most of the time seems to be the case, though. And we have Heavy Bee Trooper Mighty Neptune, Arm Dragon Blitz, and Chronomaly Magella Globe. Our first rare is Virtual World Otohime 2-2. And we have ZW Pegasus Twin Saber. There's my playset of Gunkin Suship Shari, Breath of Acclamation. Uh, Heavenly Zephyr, Miradora. And our secret is Greater Polymerization. This is actually a pretty uh, interesting card that I like to use for some of my uh, generic fusion decks. Just being able to use it for when you have multiple fusion cards. So definitely a secret rare is a nice pickup for sure. I knew it was ultra rare before. So last pack of tin number five. Let's see what we can get from this one. We have Magic E Spirit, Vepiter, Slower Swallow. So at least they didn't give too many weird spots for the secrets. We have Sunvine Crossbreed, our first of the true sun god. Nice. So yeah, I was right. We went right in order. Slifer, Obelisk, and then Ra. Breath of Acclamation, and our secret rare is awesome. We have our first Ash Blossom Enjoy a Spring. That secret rare looks very, very nice. I, I, I want to compare it to a secret rare one from Maximum Crisis as well, but this is more like a Starlight secret rare, so you can see some more of the foil, especially in the cross lines in the background. Very, very cool. Good way to end to number five, I would say. Let's move right along. After this one, we are halfway through all of the tins, trying to keep all the foils organized as well, not mixing up my numbers either with the amount of <laughs> secret rares I should have. But tin number six, let's see how we do. Right. Always wonder, it always looks like this, uh, you know, plastic is damaged. It's almost like the tins, are, the packs are too heavy for the tin to hold. We have Hidden Spring of the Far East to start us off again. Uh, another one of the Yamorimu Mori. And we have Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill for our first super. 
Beast King Unleashed, Synchro Overtake. I meet you, and our secret is Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. Awesome, especially since we're getting the new Crystal Beast uh, structure deck. I don't believe these are in the structure deck, so definitely wise to probably pick up some of these traps beforehand, because they gave us those, the Egyptian God cards, and a bunch of other cards just reprinted for that set. Pack number two of tin number six, and our first rare is Pendra and Sanction. We have, I believe, what, hopefully even more of my playset of Book of Lunar Eclipse. Uh, definitely my playset of Pegasus Twin Saber. Uh, I think this is my second copy of Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx, Machina Unclasper, and our secret is Branded Opening. The secret rare of this definitely looks nice. I believe Super from Dawn of Majesty. It was at one point a pretty pricey Super, though, just because people needed it for the deck. And last pack for pin number six. Let's see what we get. Link Apple, Eat of the Sun Magician, and we have Branded in Red in rare form. Trap Trick, Vesiculo, Goki Finishing Move. I, this is going to be nice because I believe we're getting new Trap Trick support in the Maiden set when it comes out. Dogmatica Genesis for an ultra rare. Soul Energy Max, and our secret rare, we have another Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Pretty good, especially trade bait wise, because it's just gonna be so much easier for people to pick up cards they need for decks. Like I said, a good majority of these secret rares were just so pricey for people wanting to play casually at locals as well. They couldn't keep up because of the majority of the newer cards that people were using for their decks. So. This is, we're halfway through all the tins. This is tin number seven. Let's see how we do. Arm Dragon Blitz and the Zortless starting us off again. Supernatural Danger. We have Magic Key, Vepper 2. I think this is my third of the Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. Machina Ruin Force, Abyss Keeper. DD Assault Carrier, and our Secret Rare, I think I have my playset of Arm Dragon Thunder Level 7 now as well, Secret Rare, so uh, definitely will go with the newer support cards for the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 as well. I'm curious, what did it say? What are the total amounts for foils? Uh, that just shows how much you get per pack. It say on the back of the tin, uh, just the, uh, I believe the guaranteed ratios, two supers, two ultras, but... Let's see. Definitely feels like we're getting a lot of doubles for the supers and the ultras already. And we have oh, first rare is 2-2 two, two for the virtual world. Magic cylinders for our first super. Another trap trick, Vesiculo, Dogmatica Genesis, DDD Super Sight King, Zero Maxwell, and I have my playset of Secret Rare, Ghost Ogres, and Snow Rabbits now as well. So I believe, yeah, just I think the fact that you get two Ultras and two Supers per pack is why it feels like we're getting so many of the doubles, just because you're getting double the amount of the Secret Rares. But last pack for tin number seven. And let's see what we get. We have Synchro Transmission. Goki Finishing Move, our first of the live twin series, Lil La Treat, Dragon Lark, Perrin, Stardust Trail, and we have Lord of Heavenly Prison, another pretty good staple card, for more of a protection card for back row as well. I even considered playing it in uh, Trap Tricks at one point, just with how good the card really can be. And in number eight. Let's see what we get from this one. more Sioux ships to start us off. Steel Star Regulator. We have uh, Reluna, the Wondrous Magistus Witch Wardrobe. Our first of the super rare Fluinderies and Empin. Sunvine Crossbred, another revived Sky God, Dark Honest. And we have another Albion, the Branded Dragon. One of the cards that has been reprinted a lot. Just, you know, one of the doubles I pull from these cards. What are some, Pot of Prosperity is one I would hopefully at least like to see from these packs. That was like the main one. I think Lightning Storm, was it Ultra Rare? Lightning Storm? We'll see if they're going for their guaranteed short print for some of their Ultras. Another Scout Buggy. Live Twin Kiss Kill Frost, first of that. Our fourth Masquerade Blazing Dragon. Machina Unclasper, Soul Energy Max. This is another, yeah, this is another Obelisk card, interesting. And we have another Lord of Heavenly Prison. Was it pulled from this tin? I don't believe so. Yeah, I, I think it was, no. No, it was the last tin. I'm losing count now of the cards I'm pulling. I didn't think Obelisk had a trap as well, but that's cool. 
especially to go with it. And organizing all of the cards as best as I can. I probably made a few misplacements for some of the cards, but I'll figure that out at the end. And let's see what we get from these ones. We have Magic Key World, another Kiss Kill Frost, Sunvrine Crossbred, Stardust Trail, Synchro Overtake, and another Evil Twins, Trouble Sunny for our Secret Rare Spot. It just seems like I stretch out all the Ultra Rares as they're laying across the board here, putting that rare there. Rest of the commons from that pack also. And that's it for this one. We've got four tins remaining. All right, we're winding down and we still have some secrets and whatnot that we need to see if I can pull them or not. So this is where the luck has to super take effect because I haven't pulled any of the tins. I haven't opened packs in a while, so it's gotta be what it was. Got some luck building up. Let's see. Uh, Ad Libitum. B Trooper Squad. We have Brandon Red. Slower Swallow. Sunvine Crossbred. Our first Dimension Shifter. Uh, I think it was originally Secret Rare. Now it is a, an Ultra Rare in this tin. And we have Apex Predation. And we have, I think I have my playset of Lord of Heavenly Prison now from these tins as well. Very nice. See what this one gets us. Destiny Hero Denier. Starting us off. Magella Globe. Despia Theater. I think this came out in Ultra Rare in the Ghost series. Um, Live Twin Lil La Treat. Our first Ice Jade Tremora. Super Rare. Earth Chant. DD Assault Carrier. And we have another Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. A very good. Uh, hopefully, very good. I gotta fully read the card to know for sure if it'll be used in the Crystal Beasts, because we'll also have the Dark Crystal Beasts coming out as well soon. All right, after this, we got three tins left. When is the time to start worrying about some of the secrets we haven't seen yet? There is Ruddy Rose Witch, Binary Blader. Now I'm thinking about, I'm thinking of Ruddy Rose Dragon, and watch, I'm gonna pull this from this pack. Uh, Trap Tricks, Kalaria. Okay, we're, we're, look, we're seeing some cards I haven't seen yet. We have Armed Dragon, Thunder, level 10. Mimicking Manny, but let's get a new secret from this one. Nope, <laughs> we pull Albion the Branded Dragon. That they, I want to see just how many people can pull Albion the Branded Dragon. It's probably not a card you want to see since it's been reprinted already in a structure deck. So unless people just really wanted it as secret rare, that might have been just the reason why they wanted to have it in this tin to fully max rarity out. You know, Despia uh, branded decks as well. So I think it was ultra rare and then common in the other sets. Let's see what we do. Three tins left, including this one. So, B Trooper Landing, Magella Globe, we have Fluindaries and Unexplored Winds, Fluindaries and Stry, ZW Pegasus Twin Saber, Earth Chant, Assault Carrier, and our first Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion for this Secret Rare. Awesome, to see that at least rest of the commons as well. Two packs remaining. Far East, Rendezvous, B Trooper Landing, Flip Frozen, we have Thrawn the Disciplined Angel, another Trap Trick Vesiculo, Goki Finishing Move, Dogmatica Genesis, Stardust Synchron's our first of that ultra, and right in the same tin, another Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. So if you are looking for a Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion playset, this would be the tin for you, because that's two tins. Like, watch, I can pull a third one from this pack. Let's see what I can get from it. We have Despian Comedy, Basil Rose Shoot, and Parametalfo's Fusion. Another Fluent Reason Straw. All right, it's happening. Watch, this is the start. We have Radiant Vorescence. Sprite's Blessing, Lena the Light Charmer, and, oh, nope, we have our first, I forgot the alternate arts were even in this, you know, tin because we haven't pulled any of them yet, but we pulled the alternate art Blue Eyes White Dragon. That actually looks really, really awesome. Very, very nice. That, there's so many different arts for Blue Eyes, but this one definitely does just pop out at me with its art style. The color contrast as well is very, very cool. So I'm glad I completely forgot up to this point that there were alternate arts in this set, but we have two tins remaining. So let's see. I'm definitely going to be getting some more of this set. Like I said, this set is just a good way to build up your binder with trade bait as well, if you're looking to do so. 
So definitely recommend it if that's just being the case. So there's some singles you just want to buy. If you look up their price and find that they're pretty affordable, but even with like some of the new ones, like Pot of Prosperity, if you just want to test your luck, you may pick up some other cards from this tin that some people are looking for that you can just end up trading, hopefully to equate out to the value of the cards you're looking for. We have Garden Rose Flora. Magical Cylinders, Machina Ruin Force, Zaxel Construction, I Meet You, and we have another Ash Blossom, Enjoy Spring. So yeah, I've been getting a lot of the hand traps I've noticed from this. I've got the play set of the, uh, what was it, Ghost Ogre. I think I've got two Ghost Bell and two Ash Blossoms from this. So all in all, it was pretty good. I'm not even done yet. What am I saying? I'm acting like I'm finished. I still have five packs left to open. So let's, let's actually finish before, you know, I'm, <laughs> before I'm content with everything I've pulled so far. I'm not even done, so I apologize to the cards I haven't even pulled yet. Pendulum Treasure, Trap Trick Vesiculo, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood, Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx, Breath of Acclamation, and our first Fluenderese in the Magnificent Map, just another rarity bump for that card, putting all the other acquired foils in their right spot, aside from the rares, which I think I've been mixing up with the rare pile. But... Last pack of this one, then we have one tin left. Mighty Neptune, B Trooper Landing, and we have Mahavelo, Light of the Heavens, Ice Jade, Tremora, another Mask Rare. I think I pulled two playsets, so most of this card. Heavenly Zephyr, Dark Eye Nightmare, and we have our first Rox Rose Dragon Seeker Rare as well. And the rest of the commons from that one. All right, it all came down to the final tin as I'm organizing all of these supers and whatnot. Again, let's see what the final tin has to offer for us. As I carefully, it doesn't want to be opened. It senses my fear. Let's see, I pulled two Ghost Bell from one tin. Can I pull two Pot of Prosperity? Let's find out. With this final tin lineup, we have for pack number one, the Grand Radiance, Beast King Unleashed, Paleozoic, Cambro Raster, Tri Brigade, Bear Brum, another Dark Ruler No More, and we have our first Destiny Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer, another good pull, especially. Rest of the con. All right, I believe in this tin. If you keep complimenting the inanimate object in front of you, it will reward you. I believe in this tin. I actually, I like I said, I pulled some pretty awesome cards so far. I got that Alternate Blue Eyes. So I was definitely not expecting that either. Second to last pack. We have Armed Dragon, level 10 white. Sun Avalon, Daphne. Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. We have the Breaking Ruin God for Obelisk. The Revived Sky God for Slyther. And we have Drytron, Mu, Beta, Fafnir for that. Okay, so two brand new secrets from this tin. This means this last pack has to be a new secret as well. If it's going to be the Albion secret, I'm going to be a little livid. Just a little, though. Let's see. Despian Comedy. Tanola. This is the final pack now. I haven't left any other tins around. We have Fluenderies and Snarl, first of that. Our first, I think I might have pulled Slower Swallow already. Sunvine Crossbred. I know I pulled that. Dark Honest. Earth Chant, and our final one is the playset complete with Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. I asked not for Albion, but I said nothing about Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. So sadly, from the whole case, it's no pot of prosperities, but you know, you gotta think, do they intend to do that sometimes? Is it just luck of the draw? I like to think it's just luck of the draw. Lucked out, got some other of the majority of the secrets that we could pull, but still some pretty awesome ones especially. Like I said, pulling a Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, a couple Ash Blossoms, and also this awesome Blue Eyes is definitely some good pulls to see, and just some good trade bait to build up as well. Like I guess I'm definitely gonna be picking up some more tins to open on the channel so look forward to that and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out